I'm Idiotac, and this is my performance review of Assassin's Creed Syndicate for PC. Now, unfortunately, the game doesn't run very well. Now, some of you may not be particularly surprised by that, considering Assassin's Creed Unity, which was frankly abysmal and should never have been released. However, things have improved slightly. The game is playable if you run on low, medium, or high settings. However, very high and ultra high seem pretty much out of the range of anyone with a normal PC. Now, regarding my PC, I have an i7-4790K, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 980. So it's a pretty good system and I more than surpassed the recommended settings for this game. However, the game recommended I play on very high, the preset very high that is, and I got frame drops down to 35 FPS on a pretty regular basis. Most of the time the game hovered between 45 and 50 FPS depending on what I was doing and you'll be seeing footage in the background now. If you pay attention to the top left hand corner of the screen, you'll see my CPU usage, my GPU usage and my current FPS. So. The game doesn't run well on the recommended settings and I'm using a GTX 980 and the game is sponsored by Nvidia and I got the game with my GTX 980 so you would kind of expect it to run well but it doesn't because Assassin's Creed never does on PC and if you're hoping that this game might run well for you sadly I don't think that it will. Now if you're running an, a 980 Ti or a Titan, you should be able to push things a little bit further. But for me, I ended up having to drop the settings down to high, the high preset that is, which significantly reduced the quality of the game in terms of its visuals, but it did give me 75 to 100 FPS variants. However, if you are running a high refresh rate monitor, you might even still struggle with high, so you're gonna have to lower it even more. Quite frankly, it's not acceptable. Now it is an improvement over the previous game, but that doesn't mean that it's good. Other things I should probably talk about are the options menu itself. It's not very good. We have environmental quality, texture quality, shadow quality, ambient occlusion, and anti-aliasing. There's really not very much here, and considering the game doesn't run very well, it would have been nice to have a few more options, especially when you consider the amount of detail in this game. There are a ton of graphical options you could put here, but they chose not to do that. In terms of anti-aliasing, we have FXAA, MSAA, and TXAA. And for some strange reason, they've bundled FXAA with MSAA, and you can't avoid FXAA at all so you're gonna have some blurriness no matter what you do so that's kind of a problem as well in terms of controls the game has one minor issue and that is I'm running the game in full screen and for some reason I can still move my mouse cursor outside of the window onto my second and third monitor which means I can click out of the game very easily and tab myself to desktop that's kind of annoying also, one thing I should note is if you're going to run the game in windowed mode or full screen borderless, it does say actually on the screen that the game may reduce in performance. So for those of you who like running in uh, borderless full screen, which most people do who have a second monitor and want to like check Facebook and stuff, you may have performance issues there as well. So yeah, that's the only real control issue I had. Other than that, the game seems pretty reasonable controls wise. I mean, they've had a few games to get things right here. Now, one thing I do want to talk about just briefly, even though it's not really performance related, is microtransactions. This game is absolutely packed with microtransactions. You can buy currency, you can buy resources, you can buy blueprints, you can buy maps, you can buy outfits. They've got season passes, they've got all sorts of DLC content. It's cram packed with DLC and microtransactions. Now, in a single player game, I don't think this is acceptable when you consider the initial asking price. However, the AAA industry obviously disagrees with me and they continue to do it, especially Ubisoft. Some of you may think, well, it's a single player game. You can't gain a competitive advantage, so who cares? And you would be right to some degree. However, it is worth keeping in mind that when developing a progression system, it is kind of important to balance that progression system so it doesn't feel too grindy and the player feels rewarded. And when you've got a currency system like this in the game, I always worry that the developers may design their progression systems around being a little too grindy to try and encourage players to maybe buy some of that currency. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Now, this isn't something I've been able to test. I've only played the game for a few hours so far, but it is something worth keeping in mind if you weren't aware the game had microtransactions. Also, the game requires Uplay, so if you have a problem with Uplay, obviously don't buy the title. To sum it up, the options menu is pretty crap. 
the performance is really not acceptable given the hardware that I have and the recommended settings. So that's not great either. And the controls are good for the most part, although there is some weird issues there that need to be patched. And as for microtransactions, well, honestly, they can fuck off when it comes to a AAA game. So if you found this useful or helpful in some way, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.